Hi, welcome to the NFPA Link YouTube channel. This page is dedicated to answering key questions that you have related to electrical and life safety. With the easy to use digital access to NFPA codes and standards, NFPA Link is your window to productivity. Now today I'm gonna to be talking about electric fire pumps and their annual flow test requirements. So in order to start talking about uh, some of the requirements for fire pump, annual fire pump testing for electric fire pumps, I'm going to utilize the direct navigation feature here in Link. I think it's kind of the best way to start looking at some of these requirements. So let's say, for example, that my fire pump is supplying a sprinkler system. So I'm going to go ahead and put sprinkler system or sprinklers under the system. We see that I kind of loaded some already, but I'm going to go ahead and add my equipment here as a fire pump. So I see that I have two situations here. One is the electrical, um, the actual electrical wiring and the requirements for that fire pump. And then I have one here for electric fire pump inspection, testing and maintenance. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that situation. We see I've got a lot of different solutions here going over, you know, all of the requirements or most of the requirements here for that electric fire pump and even some of the requirements for the, the fire pump room itself. So we see some of these hot spots here. You know, we got one for control valves and gauges and so on, but I'm interested in that annual flow test. So I see number five here, it's got my requirements for my annual flow test. So now I'm in the solution for that annual flow test. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look. The annual flow test of pumps is required to evaluate their performance and ability to meet the demands of the system. So during a flow test, a minimum of the following three points needs to be measured and plotted on a, on a piece of graph paper, and that is the pump churn. So that's the pressure when the pump is pumping water, but no water's flowing. Then I have the rated capacity, and that's the, the rated capacity is the volume of water at the pressure indicated on the pump nameplate. And then I have the overload test, and that is 150% flow of that rated um, capacity. So I need to perform a test on that electric fire pump that gets me all three of those points. And all of that is outlined in NFPA 25. And we see down here NFPA 25, which is a standard for inspection, testing and maintenance of water based fire protection systems. And I look here 8.3.3 .3 is providing me all of my requirements for that annual flow test. And I can look at all those requirements um, there. I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail on exactly, um, you know, all of the pieces of that annual flow test. But again, I need to be performing it annually. And we see noted here is that I need to be performing my tests. I need to be conducted by a qualified person and I need to do a no flow, a churn test, then a rated flow. So I'm flowing the, the rated capacity and then 150% of that rated capacity. And I see a note here, except permitted in 8.3.3.4. And I can go ahead and click on that section and see what is that exception in 8.3.3.4. It's basically saying if the available suction on my fire pump doesn't allow for me to fl flow 150% of that rated pump capacity, the fire pump needs to be tested at flow rates, which are 100% of the rated fire pump flow rate, and then at the maximum flow allowed at the lowest permissible, permissible suction pressure. So if I don't have enough suction pressure coming into the fire pump, I am allowed to basically flow it as much as it'll be able to flow and then plot that point. So I hope that was able to provide some insight into the annual flow test requirements for electric fire pumps. I think the big takeaway there would be if you got into that direct scenario a little bit and started looking into some of those requirements and then also getting into chapter eight, we saw 8.3.3 of NFPA 25 kind of details those requirements a little bit more. So for more information on how you can use NFPA link to give you more of that knowledge, about things like electric fire pump annual flow tests, you can go ahead and go to nfpa.org slash link.